It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Wednesday, February 21st, 2024. Number one, the support that President Biden has received thus far in his still early primary season could be headed for an upset as Arab Americans go to the polls next week in Michigan. It's predicted that foreign affairs will play a large part in Tuesday's primary in the Wolverine state. Democratic Congresswoman and Arab American Rashida Tlaib is leading the call against the Biden administration alliance with Israel, and she's asking her supporters to vote uncommitted in next Tuesday's primary. Number two. Reports suggest that Vice President Kamala Harris has been particularly focused on penetrating what she refers to as the bubble of President Biden's campaign. The bubble is where Democratic stakeholders believe their concerns on critical issues fall on deaf ears. The Vice President has been convening intense discussions from diverse voices to reshape their campaign strategy ahead of the election cycle. Her efforts have garnered praise from leading Democrats who have expressed relief at her proactive approach, contrasting it with earlier feelings of being sidelined by the White House and campaign headquarters. Number three, as a whole, the healthcare system treats the black community differently. While the disparities in health resources and services are being addressed from the clinic to the national government level, it's harder to change how kidney disease affects African Americans. Vulnerability to chronic kidney disease is ingrained in DNA, and while medical studies have made progress and genetic testing for gene mutations is now available, treatments are not yet available. Read more about Black Health Matters in today's newsletter. Number four. On February 6, Cecilia Gentili died in her home in the Marine Park section of Brooklyn. Her death was announced by her husband, Peter Scotto. Cecilia Gentili was a fierce advocate for transgender people and sex workers and a legislative lobbyist, author, performer, actress, and a mother. She worked with several prominent organizations that advocated for the queer community, particularly trans women of color. She also worked with organizations such as Gay Men's Health Clinic, Trans Equity Consulting, and more. Number five, Destin Lee Henderson has been missing from Houston, Texas since October 24th of 2023. The 39-year-old was last seen at his apartment located in the 400 block of Highland Cross in Harris County. Law enforcement is searching for Destin's vehicle, a red 2015 Honda Accord with Ohio plates, JHP 3637. And Destin has tattoos and wears braces on his teeth. Anyone with information on Destin's disappearance, please take a look at his photo on the Black and Missing Foundation website. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. True love involves a selfless act of giving. Inhale love. Exhale selfishness. Some of you still exhaling. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with producer Stephen Hill and comedian extraordinaire Myra J. As we discuss today's top headlines and more. And now here's your little known black history fact in honor of Black History Month. Alan Rohan Crete was a notable artist who sought to depict black people as ordinary American citizens instead of sharecroppers or entertainers. Alan Rohan Crete was born in 1910 in Plainfield, New Jersey and raised in Boston South End. He developed an interest in art early on by way of his mother and his father, a doctor and engineer. In an interview, Crete stated he wanted to show the real Negro and not the jazz Negro or the Harlem Negro, which he felt were images promoted solely by white people. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, the American Heart Association and Black Health Matters. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.